Hello again, my name is Psychogu and I'm back with another Redstone Request tutorial. This tutorial is tutorial number 9 and it was about a very interesting problem actually that I never really thought about before. Uh, actually I had the problem once but uh, I did not think of a solution back then. I just, uh, actually I'm just going to tell you what the problem was. It was, uh, this problem was uh, about redstone clocks if you leave a chunk and actually this request was given by a Minecraft forum user named um, actually I will start putting the names in the videos because I am never sure how to pronounce them but I think this uh, is pronounced Wrath Lord it's R-A-T-H but anyways uh, I will put that in the video uh, so you can see and do not have to rely on what I say but anyways um. As I said, it is about clocks if you leave a chunk. And for example, if you have this one tick clock uh, and leave the chunk, it will, and when you come back, it will look like this. So um, at least that's how it is for me. And there was another post in the forum that said that this was already fixed somehow, or maybe it was fixed. But it is not for me. If if, it is, if I set this up and leave the chunk and come back, then it looks like this. So um, uh, it's not working for me. And I thought of a solution for this problem. Um, so if you have a, uh, uh, I actually, I'm just going to show you what I came up with, and it is basically this. Um, this is actually something that I have showed in the last video already. It is a clock. I will just go through this because there is something new that I have to tell you about it. And I said that this clock was not unbreakable because if you have an input and if you give another input in the wrong time I'm just going to do it like this like this then it is broken. And it actually is but you can just uh, plainly fix that by giving the input here instead of here and that will actually um, not allow the cl uh, the clock to break because if you give the input like this you have this repeater not locked on on but on off so if you now take away the power source it will start running again and so this clock is basically unbreakable with uh, so you cannot do anything wrong and I used this to make a blockable clock that is uh, fed into a, a command block which is testing for a player, for any player in the radius of 25. So if there is a player in the radius of 25, uh, this clock is running. And it is not right now because if you actually leave the whole system then it is going to break. But as uh, long as you are inside of the system it will not break even if you leave the chunk area. So. I will just stop this running and now we have this clock running here and it is constantly testing for a player in a 25 radius area I will just show you if I go up more than 25 blocks then it's going to block the clock so this is working but now we need to make sure that if we come back the clock starts running again and how do you do that is actually pretty simple you just build a network of these things and connect either of these with the four neighbors and it will look basically like this this is all these are your clocks and you can just go ahead and uh, make the distance between two of the clocks almost uh, so if, you, if this is the clock that you are at at the moment then this clock needs to be at least almost at the board or um, uh, at the chunk border not further because you can make a two block distance if you want to that doesn't matter but if you extend the uh, distance then it uh, should not be more than the uh, block uh, other than the chunk border because what you need to have is if this block is testing and this block is testing then you need to have the radius radiuses of the command blocks overlapping so that if you are in between that at some point it needs to have both activated otherwise it will not work probably and uh, then it could break but uh, 
actually what I will just show you uh, if I am, am here then you can see this clock is running and actually this pulse meter I will show you that before uh, this whole thing uh, that is because there is not actually um, hello oh yeah of course um ah uh, dang it um anyways uh, I will just show you uh, this command so th this pulse limiter if you actually block the clock then um, normally this input would be constantly on and this constantly on input would then block the command block and therefore you would not test for another player anymore and uh, therefore this clock cannot be started anymore and then the whole system is broken basically but uh, with this pulse limiter you just have the ability to uh, even if this clock is blocked the command block can still be triggered and therefore it can be started again and this whole system based is based on the idea that if if a player is not near then this comrade is turned off and then therefore um this torch is turned on and the clock is blocked so if you leave the testing radius then this clock is turned off and if there is a clock in the in nearby turned on so if you are near a clock uh, nearby and you get into the radius of this clock then this is constantly tested for and it will actually start running again since you come near it. I will just show you that. Uh, as you can see now uh, this uh, this is actually this can be used as an indicator if a clock is running or not because this is always extended if the uh, clock is blocked and it is always um, running if the clock is running. So uh, actually this uh, piston will extend and retract when the clock is running so you can see this clock back there is not running and you can actually see the uh, repeaters being um, in a constant state so if I go now into the radius of this block since this block is also triggered by this line here so if this clock is running then this block is also triggered and therefore if I get into the radius of this command block this clock will also start running so now we have two, cl two clocks running as you can see and now it is triggering also this one and if you have actually, uh, I will go to that in a second basically, but I'm not going to tell you this now. Sorry. Um, uh, now I am on this one, and actually, you do not have to do this, but this one, this clock here is in the radius of this clock and this clock. So basically, uh, if you are here, then you are triggering this clock, this clock, and this clock, but you actually only need to have this clock activated and this radius and this radius to overlap so that if you go from here to there that you will actually activate this clock so that is actually how the system works and the signals are traveling forth and back sorry I'm not moving right now because the battery of my mouse just died and I have to replace it okay okay so now here we are again and um, this works forth and back because I have uh, not just um, inserted a signal from this clock to this command block but also from this clock back to this command block and actually you can add clocks to the sides I just didn't do that because this is just a proof of concept and you can add that to the sides and wire them up so that this clock will power this clock this clock or actually this clock will power this command block this command block its own command block and the command blocks on the sides so uh, that if you get near another clock it will start running as you can see that these clocks all start running if I come near and this is also happening if I go back this is running now this gets running and in the back they are all st stop, ring, uh, st stop running and this back there is just probably a graphical glitch with the piston back there probably I hope so um, and now this starts running again and the clocks back there are all off. So this is how it works. It's pretty simple actually. And you can add, as I said, <coughs> sorry, you can add pistons, uh, clocks to the side. I mean, pistons, no, clocks, clocks to the sides to have a 2D network. And you can actually also add them uh, further up so you have a 3D network, but you actually do not really need that because there is no chunk border to the 
uh, well, upwards, there's no chunk border, I think. And, uh, but you could use that to make sure that uh, you actually have um, a signal, uh, a clock near, so that um, there is always a near clock running, and you do not have to, if you have something built up pretty much at the upper building height, that you uh, do not have to, like, get a signal from down here 250 blocks up. That would be probably pretty annoying. But, yeah, this is how it works. And uh, also, you might think that this gets really laggy because of all the clocks, but actually no, because there is only one or two, or if you go diagonally, uh, a maximum of three clocks running at a time. And that is how it works. Pretty simple system, I think. And as you can see, even if you fly, if you're really quick, you cannot break it because you're always running one clock, at least. And yeah, I hope you liked the video. There was also another post from... I will also put the name in the description. In the description in the video, sorry, but uh, I think the name is pronounced Caesar Yoshi, but I'm not sure, so uh, I will put that in the video too. And uh, Caesar Yoshi said that there actually was already a system for this that used pistons, boats, and pressure plates. And basically, you'd have a piston, I will just show you how I think it works a piston extended with a boat on top of it so uh, that's no not not like this but like this and then if uh, you leave the chunk and come back then somehow the piston would be retracted and therefore the uh, boat would fall down and trigger a pressure plate or something like that I do not know really how this works if you guys can show me how it works or give me a link to a video or something like that that would be really nice but uh, well, you could use that if it still works. You can use that if you do not want to use command blocks because I also do not really like to co uh, use command blocks. They're pretty cool to do um, stuff with, but I do generally do not like to use them in actual redstone contraptions. Th this is great if you want to have uh, clocks running, for example. That that I would probably use this system, but. Uh, I would not use this in some kind of computer contraption or something like that because I just think that command blocks it's not like cheating but uh, it's just too much of a help basically I think with uh, wireless redstone and stuff like that um, so I do not really like to use them and if you do not like you can uh, try the system with the boat and the uh, piston but anyways this is my system I hope you liked it and uh, see you in another video, I guess. Uh, I'll also put a link to the forum in the description so so that you uh, can post other um, requests if you want to in the forum or as a comment to, uh, comment to my video or as a video answer or your choice, whatever you want to do. Want to do. Um, so yeah, uh, hope you liked the video and bye.